ever wondered why we procrastinate? Well, it's a fascinating puzzle deeply rooted in our psychology. To put it simply, our brains are wired to crave immediate rewards. So, when we're faced with a task that doesn't offer instant gratification, we tend to push it aside, promising ourselves we'll tackle it later. This tendency is further complicated by our perception of time. It's a common human trait to believe we have more time than we actually do. This illusion fuels our procrastination as we convince ourselves that we can always catch up later. But there's more to this procrastination puzzle. Anxiety and feelings of being overwhelmed also play a significant role. When a task seems too daunting or stressful, we might avoid it altogether, once again falling into the trap of procrastination. So we see that procrastination is a complex issue, deeply ingrained in our psychology. Procrastination isn't just about delaying tasks, it has serious consequences. Indeed, it can lead to a whirlpool of stress and anxiety, a mental state we certainly don't want to invite. When we repeatedly push aside tasks, the pressure to complete them mounts, often leading to sleepless nights and restless days. But the fallout doesn't stop at our mental well-being. It seeps into our performance at work or school. Procrastination, you see, is a silent productivity killer. It can lead to lower grades, compromised work quality, and missed deadlines. It's a vicious cycle. The more we procrastinate, the more our performance dips, and the further our self-confidence plummets. And let's not forget about the strain it places on our relationships. When we procrastinate, we're not just letting ourselves down, but also those who depend on us. Unfinished tasks can lead to unmet expectations, breeding disappointment and conflict. Clearly, the effects of procrastination extend far beyond just unfinished tasks. It's a pervasive issue with far-reaching implications affecting every facet of our lives. But remember, it's not insurmountable. Stay tuned as we explore ways to overcome this habit in the next segment. But don't despair. Procrastination is a common problem, and it's one that we can overcome. The key to overcoming procrastination lies in the power of your mind and the way you approach tasks. Let's start by looking at the first solution, breaking down big tasks into smaller, manageable steps. Imagine you're standing at the foot of a mountain. The peak seems impossibly far, but as the saying goes, every journey begins with a single step. In the same way, tackling a large task can feel daunting, but if we break it down into small, manageable steps, each step feels achievable and before you know it, you'll have reached the peak. Another effective strategy is to set a timer for work sessions and take short breaks in between. This method, known as the Pomodoro Technique, involves working for a specific period, say 25 minutes, followed by a five-minute break. The timer creates a sense of urgency that can spur you into action, while the short breaks give your brain time to rest and recharge, improving your focus and productivity in the long run. Remember, the goal is not to eradicate procrastination overnight. It's about making small, consistent changes that will build momentum over time. So start small. Break your tasks down and set your timer. These are simple yet effective strategies to start tackling procrastination. There's more to overcoming procrastination than just managing tasks. It's also about acknowledging the milestones you reach. Rewarding yourself for completing tasks, no matter how small, can be a powerful motivator. It's like giving your brain a pat on the back, saying, well done, you've made progress. On this journey, remember you're not alone. Having a support system can make a world of difference. Speak to someone you trust about your struggles. Their encouragement can give you the push you need to keep going. But what if procrastination becomes a significant problem, stopping you from reaching your potential? It might be time to seek professional help a therapist can help you understand the root of your procrastination and equip you with strategies to cope. Remember, understanding why you procrastinate and using effective strategies can significantly improve your productivity and reduce stress. You have the power to overcome procrastination. All it takes is a bit of self-awareness, a dash of motivation and a whole lot of resilience. Procrastination is a battle we all fight, but it's a battle we can win. It's not about being perfect, it's about making progress. Breaking tasks into manageable parts, setting timers for work sessions, rewarding yourself for completed tasks, and seeking support when needed, 
are all ways to combat this common issue. Remember, if procrastination feels like a constant struggle, it's okay to seek help. There are professionals who can provide you with strategies tailored to your unique situation. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Gleegro Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Gleeglow Junction.